Life without worship. Like sailing aimlessly. Like anchored without a foothold. It's very sad. Management is efficiency and climbing the ladder of success. Leadership determines whether the ladder is leaning against the right wall. Part of your future depends on who you hang out with. Make your life extraordinary and leave a lasting legacy. Your life is a mission, not a career. Career is a profession, while mission is a goal. Hire from a job, but don't ever retire from making extremely meaningful contributions. Get used to reading. The best approach to sharpening your mind is reading. Get in the habit of reading before bed. For the brain, reading is like exercise for the body. Reading is the basis of everything. Give good awards to others who can warm their hearts in the six months of the rainy season. Giving in and obeying and everything can eliminate identity. Synergy is what happens when 1 plus 1 equals 10 or 100 or even 1000. It's the profound result when two or more respectful human beings determine to go beyond their preconceived ideas to meet a great challenge. Being active when you are lazy is a true test of your character. Trust is the glue of life. It's the most essential ingredient in effective communication. It's the foundational principle that holds all relationships. It's not just about money. The understanding is that time is very valuable. One of the things that cannot be recycled is wasted time. So make sure you make good use of your time. Our indecision is our traitor that often makes us lose our chances of winning for fear of trying. When you show deep empathy toward others, their defensive energy goes down, and positive energy replaces it. That's when you can get more creative in solving problems. Learning is not an obligation, but learning is a necessity. Every human has four endowments self-awareness, conscience, independent will and creative imagination. These give us the ultimate human freedom. The power to choose, to respond, to change. The key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. Employers and business leaders need people who can think for themselves who can take initiative and be the solution to problems. Don't sacrifice your future happiness just for the sake of last night's pleasure, weekend joy. Consider doing something really stupid. If you want small changes in your life, work on your attitude. But if you want big and primary changes, work on your paradigm. Stop setting goals. Goals are pure fantasy unless you have a specific plan to achieve them. Live your imagination not your past. Between stimulus and response, there is a space where we choose our response. Renew and strengthen your four key dimensions of life, your body, your brain, your heart, your soul. Do everything in balance. I am not a product of my circumstances. I am a product of my decisions. It takes a great deal of character strength to apologize quickly out of one's heart rather than out of pity. A person must possess himself and have a deep sense of security and fundamental principles and values in order to genuinely apologize. A moment of choice is a moment of truth. This is the testing point of our character and competence. Don't be sad if you are not appreciated, but be sad if you are not worth it anymore. The pent-up feeling never dies. They were buried alive and emerged later in worse ways. Remember, we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. Leadership is a choice, not a position. Live only once, but if you live right, one life is enough. Never show your sadness in public, because it will never be useful. If there's one thing that's certain in business, it's uncertainty. Respect does not always bring friendship, but friendship cannot exist without respect.
our character is basically a composite of our habits. Because they are consistent, often unconscious patterns, they constantly, daily, express our character. I believe in this concept that you learn by teaching. Love is something I do, a sacrifice you make, a gift of yourself, like a mother bringing her child into the world. Don't wait until tomorrow what we can to do now. Sometimes you have to discipline yourself to do things you don't like to do, because what you expect, you will get from it. You're not a product of your nature. That is your genetic makeup or your nurture, the things that have happened to you. Of course those things affect you powerfully, but they do not determine you. We become what we repeatedly do. Wasting your time doing useless things can destroy your future. Reactive people are often affected by their physical environment. They find external sources to blame for their behavior. In the last analysis, what we are communicates far more eloquently than anything we say or do. One of the keys to happiness is a bad memory. Some of us spend a lot of time on what is immediately done, not what is important to do. There are three constants in life. Change, choice and principles. Listen with the intent to understand, not the intent to reply. Listen with the intention to understand, not the intention to reciprocate. Life is not accumulation, it is about contribution. If we keep doing what we're doing, we're going to keep getting what we're getting. Sometimes we will never do big things, but we can do small things in a big way. We are not animals. We are not a product of what has happened to us in our past. We have the power of choice. What benefits are obtained, then compare with the sacrifices that will be achieved. We are the creative force of our life, and through our own decisions rather than our conditions, if we carefully learn to do certain things, we can accomplish those goals. Start each day as if there is a purpose. The better you organize yourself, the more you will pack into life. Find your voice and inspire others to find theirs. What the hell are we living for, if not to make life less difficult for each other? It's caught in the Live out of your imagination not your history. Be a first-class version of yourself, rather than a second-class version of someone else. You have to let your heart out, otherwise they will eat away at your heart. Leadership is a choice, not a position. We need to have business leaders who live by deep, strong principles. Seeing that we will continue to make mistakes for the rest of our lives. Saying that you are sorry is not a bad habit. Begin with the end in mind. I am not a product of my circumstances. I am a product of my decisions. There is not a single trait that God has given us, which is never useful. If we keep doing what we're doing, we're going to keep getting what we're getting. It's caught in the we see the world not as it is, but as we are. The key lies not in how you spend your time, but in investing your time. Our character is basically a composite of our habits. Because they are consistent, often unconscious patterns, they constantly, daily, express our character. The deepest desire of the human spirit is to be acknowledged. People who exercise their embryonic freedom day after day, little by little, expand that freedom. People who do not will find that it withers until they are literally being lived. They are acting out scripts written by parents, associates and society. Your most important work is always ahead of you, never behind you.
Interdependency follows independence. I believe in this concept that you learn by teaching.